My name is Nick T, and all my life I've been obsessed with music. By the time I was a teenager, I realised New Zealand had some of the greatest musicians right here in our own backyard. But sadly, the rest of the world doesn't get a chance to hear them. So I'm heading on the road, armed with some of New Zealand's greatest songs, on a mission to get them reworked and covered by artists from every culture and country. This show takes New Zealand music to the world, and it brings the world's music back to New Zealand. This time on Making Tracks, I'm in Ukraine, and its capital city, Kiev. Kiev is one of the oldest and one of the most spectacular cities you'll find in Eastern Europe. Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union for the better part of the last century and effectively cut out from a large part of the outside world and its influence. In 1991, Ukraine finally achieved its independence and in the last two decades has grown into a vibrant destination that's brimming with its own unique culture and, of course, music. And I'll be spending the next week getting a healthy taste of it. I'll be meeting with some of Ukraine's most influential musicians, witnessing a Kiwi DJ playing a wild beach rave and doing my bit to adapt with the local way of life. But of course, the main reason I'm here in Kiev is to get this week's New Zealand song transformed Ukrainian style into something like we've never heard before. The Kiwi track I've chosen is easily the most successful electronic record to ever come out of New Zealand. Notching up sales in more than 100 countries around the world, it's Concord Dawn and the anthemic Morning Light. Originally released in 2002, Morning Light quickly propelled Concord Dawn into the global spotlight. Of the back of its success, Concord Dawn found themselves touring all over the world. Morning Light is the tune that really changed everything for, uh, for Concord Dawn. That was the one that took off around the world and got us playing here, there and everywhere and going to new and exciting locations. It's not really specifically about anything in particular, although uh, Evan, who sung on it as well as us writing it together, had just broken up with his, uh, his girlfriend, so maybe that had something to do with it. But um, I'm not sure, and I don't like to make people kiss and tell, so as far as I'm concerned, it shall remain a mystery. I've found the perfect band that will be able to take the energy of the original to an all-new mystical realm. And they are Darker Braka. Darker Branka's music delves right back into the roots of Ukrainian culture, which for many years, under Soviet rule, was heavily oppressed and in some cases completely destroyed. It's this mixture of centuries-old folk music combined with their incredible musicianship and powerful voice that has seen them mesmerizing crowds all over the world. Uh, заявити світу про те, що Україна є, що є така культура, є така нація, є така музика. Це, мабуть, сама найголовніша місія людини взагалі зберегти, передати. The band travel Ukraine from mountain top to remote village searching for these old stories and fables. В протязі років, що ми їздили експедиції, ми маємо багато пісень обрядових, які ще співались до християнські часи, в язичницькі часи. В деяких піснях ми змінюємо мелодію, а деякі пісні звучать в оригінальному вигляді. І вони, можливо, потужніші енергетично. I can't wait to hear some of that ancient energy channeled into Concord Dawn's morning light. Although the band agree, it's not going to be easy. Ну, це електронна пісня. Ми зразу так чик. Що ж ми будемо робити? Тим більше такий стиль drum and bass, страш виданьк. Ми так не один раз слухали, а так виникали ідеї. So, I'm going to leave Darker Branca to get working on the cover. Meanwhile, over the next few days, I'll be exploring this fascinating city and its people. 
Jackson. First up, I'm meeting with Miroslav Kulvedin, one of Ukraine's most famous TV personalities and the lead singer of reggae band The Vio. Dali. I gotta say, reggae is not a style that I expected to find here in Ukraine. Many people like reggae because I think the Ukrainian same like Jamaica. We have a relaxed, uh, lazy people, you know. One of your most famous songs is a song called Ganja. Is it was it difficult to talk about these kind of things? In 1995, we we have no problem with Ganja. Nobody know what we mean in this. And I call in the whole interview, it's uh, the name of my girlfriend. And everybody who know, they know. Who didn't know, uh, they did. You know? OK, OK. Miroslav follows reggae's tradition of using music as a platform to speak out about social issues, with a music video of one of their most popular songs, All One, being filmed here in Independence Square, during one of the most momentous events in recent Ukrainian history. About five years ago, in this place was uh, many, many people, and it's called uh, the Orange Revolution. <laughs> the Orange Revolution took place at the end of 2004 and saw Ukrainians rising up against electoral fraud. Music was a huge catalyst as popular musicians like Miroslav drew in over a million Ukrainians who camped out here for months. The revolution was a success and eventually saw an overturn of government in this nation. Everybody open hearts, open minds. I think it was the first time that the nation feel like sister and brother. It was amazing. And it goes to show that music is a powerful force here in Ukraine and one that's on display every night of the week. Miroslav recommended a night out to get a real taste of this nation's music scene. And tonight, it was the hyperactive energy of a traditional polka band that had been busting all kinds of moves I never knew I even had in me. Pretty friendly locals, too. After the break, I meet with two of the most legendary figures in Ukrainian music. Head to a crazy beach rave, and of course, we'll get closer to seeing Darka Braka injecting some of their ancient musical magic into Concord Dawn's morning light. I've been in Kiev, Ukraine a few days now. And although some people have the impression that it's pretty cold and a little bit grim in this part of the world, I'm fast finding there's a lot of fun and frivolity to be had, especially on the banks of the River Dnieper. There's a lot of banks out here. <laughs> but I'm not here for silly buggers. The reason I'm here is to get self-described ethno-chaos group Darker Braka to rework and cover Kiwi artist Concord Dawn's anthemic Morning Light. But first, I feel I need to learn a little bit more about this country's unique history and music. Starting with one of the biggest legends of Ukrainian song. <laughs> Nina Mavienko is a Ukrainian national treasure. She has been singing professionally since the 1960s and is one of this nation's most beloved voices. Nina is a proud Ukrainian and has always sung about her love of the country. During Soviet times, there were periods when stirring up nationalism saw many of the great Ukrainian poets, writers and academics logged away and even executed. And at the height of her career, Nina found herself branded as a major threat to the communist government. Голова КГБ якось одного разу сказав: "Оця Ніна, оця її пісня зробить більше, ніж всі ці поети і все, що було перед цим. Моя Україна, ти Nina was born at a very dark time in Ukraine's history. During the 1930s, the Soviet government inflicted a severe famine on the Ukrainian people. It was called Holodomor, and it eventually took the lives of up to 10 million Ukrainians. Над Україною йшов злочин геноциду, винищувалася нація. І не могли так за всі століття знищити український народ, націю як саму, то вирішили голодом придумати страшніше, мабуть, це ніхто не міг. Забиралися в людей останній хліб, останні жит, останні зерна, які можна було. Стріляли, якщо діти збирали колосочки, і дітей розстрілювали по житах. 
хто вже не міг говорити або не міг піднятися, і живими забирали, скидали на віз, і живими кидали в загальну яму. Although they contain painful memories for Ukraine, Nina continues to sing these songs around the world so that the horrific tragedy of Holodomor will never be forgotten. While other musicians gave up their artistic expression during the Soviet era, Nina held strong and continued to sing the stories of her people. При радянській владі мені не закрили рот. Я 17 років була невиїзна за кордон. Вони думали, що таким чином мене зломлять, що я почну співати. Пісні і про партію, і про гарне радянське життя. І це нічого мене не зламало. If Nina is responsible for giving Ukrainians national pride through song, then my next meeting is with a man responsible for giving the nation rock and roll. Oleg Skripa is the frontman for the band Vopli Vodoplia Sova, or VV as they are known. Up there is Ukraine's most successful band of all time. Oleg for a bit of lunch at a restaurant on the banks of the river Nyepa. So these are fresh, these have just been caught? Yeah. Wow. The VV story began in 1986, one week after the explosion of the nuclear power plant Chernobyl, and marked the beginning of great change for Ukraine and set the foundations for the post-Soviet music scene. My generation, we did not like music of Soviet Union because it was completely propaganda. Because the Communist Party, they do a lot of pop songs, but with them about party, Lenin, and happiness, because we are, we are very happy in the Soviet Union. Western influence was next to impossible to access in the Soviet Union, but like any good Cold War Soviet story, if you knew the right people... We got the uh, black market of music, and immediately we got really the best of the best, like Led Zeppelin, uh, the best new queen, etc. <laughs> with VV's incredible mix of their own Ukrainian folk, with the rock and roll they were hearing from the West, they fast became a sensation across the Soviet Union. But as they were still under the Iron Curtain, playing live shows was an interesting experience. You play concert with all movements, with the light, with the sound, and in the hall, in the center, some people in government and person, uh, like that, and with our lyrics, and they, they observe our concert, 10 percent, and we play for them, our rock and roll, and after that, we put stamp, and it's okay, you, you can see, uh, you, you play. 24 years after the formation, and Oleg is still one of the most influential artists in Ukraine. His mission has been simple, to give his people Ukrainian rock and roll. And he's got big plans for his future generations. I hope my children will become musicians, to continue to sing Ukrainian rock and roll. Yeah, good morning, good morning Oleg. During summertime, Kiev's main river, the River Dnieper, comes alive. And nearly every weekend you'll find some pretty wild party action on its shores. I've got one lined up where tonight's special guest is none other than Concord Dawn. But that's for later. It's a beautiful day, so I thought I'd get in there early to soak up the vibes. They're a playful bunch for Ukrainians, and as the day turned to night and the vodka started kicking in, they were ready to let loose and throw some shapes on the dance floor. As well as being this week's original artist for the cover element of the show, Concord Dawn just so happened to be playing while we were here. Yeah, I mean, I've been out here, this will be the fourth time. Yeah, they're always pretty up for it out here. The Kiev kids are loving it. And of course, as usual, when morning light drops, the crowd goes nuts. People know the words, they sing along. It's not like there's like four verses and a bridge and a couple of choruses and a, you know, it's, it's not so many words to memorize. And of course, the reason I'm here is to get morning light covered. 
Because of his hectic DJ schedule, Matty couldn't meet Darker Braca, but he's pretty excited about the prospect of hearing his biggest tune, Transform. No one's really covered any of my songs before, so that's a fresh experience, and especially someone doing it in this live sense. It's a band playing it, which is a whole new thing, so I really can't wait to hear it. What a night! Thanks, Matty! After the break, we'll be seeing Concord Dawn's Morning Light given a whole new mythical makeover by Darker Braca. And we'll be seeing what Maddie C thinks of this crazy new version. For the last week, I've been in Kiev and the Ukraine, in the heart of Eastern Europe. Yes! Many musicians who went through a lot to finally see their country a free, independent state. And I gotta say, I'm loving it here. During this week, a band that really do channel the energy of the Ukraine evolved. Darker Braca have been working on a cover of Concord Dawn's drum and bass anthem, Morning Light. And pretty soon, we're gonna hear the results. It's my last day here, and it's another cracker. And so what better way to wrap things up with a little cruise down the river? I don't want the keys to the kingdom. Just the fair music a group at Fat Freddy's Drop. Duja dobre. I can't just tease them with New Zealand song. These are good people. And they need something they can relive the moment again and again. Welcome to Prince of you, the Black Sea. He's late. Well, thank you, Kevin, the whole thing. David Dallas. Right Julian Dyer. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Last one I wanted. Yay. Savage album. Woohoo. Savage. It's over. So as night falls, it's time to head to my final destination to meet Darker Braca and hear their cover version of Concord Dawn's Morning Light. Oh. It's been a tough week for Darker Braca as writing a new arrangement for this fast-paced dance floor monster was never going to be easy. Я сказала, що це неможливо так зіграти і щось зробити. Для мене це було якесь, ну, взагалі якась така електроніка, що, ну, то есть, як як можна зробити щось, ну, інструментів то таких немає і взагалі, ну, думаю, ну, як? Але ми сіли собі і ну, як кожен взяв свій інструмент, що, короче, почав там Заспівали, плес дон край, і все, і ну, я бачила, не вийшло, я не знаю, але я казала, що я неможливо це. Ну, no. <laughs> враження такі. Ні, nee. я так не зможу швидко грати. The essence of Darker Braca is the reviving of traditional Ukrainian song. And so for their cover of Morning Light, the band decided to integrate an ancient chant with a story linked to the original track title. Oh, yeah, my Є такі звичай, саме в цю зелену неділю вибиралася саме найкраща дівчина в селі. Вона її вбирали все в зелень, водили по селу і заходили в кожний двір, вітали, говорили слова побажання. Потім цю дівчину, ну, раніше, її приносили в жертву для того, щоб здійснити, значить, ці побажання. The sacrifice would take place the next morning, and this was the accompanying chant. Зараз цього вже не роблять. Дуже дякуємо тобі, Кункудун, що ти написав цю пісню. Ми постаралися її не зіпсувати, а можливо зробити ще кращою. А якщо щось тобі дуже сильно не подобається, вибачай. And so now, Darka Braka with their version of Concord Dawn's Morning Light.
houses. I want to have nightmares now. <laughs> the, some of the, um, the imagery and stuff, and combined with the music, made it quite unsettling, actually. Like, quite, um... Ooh. It's incredible what you can do with these, um, these old traditional instruments and stuff. I mean, it's, it's great to have um, computers and synthesizers and all those fancy gadgets, but um, sometimes the, the, old, the old instruments can be really powerful, huh? Hey, so thanks to Dark Abraka, that was absolutely mind-blowing, spine-tingling. You've made the hairs on my neck stand up. So thank you very much. Do you think you're going to be a good one? Good one.